as promised. Now, you, you want to know what's happened with Xfinity, right? Or just, uh, mm -hmm. So let me tell you. Oh, welcome to Albert's Forest. Uh, okay. Xfinity. Xfinity Internet. Xfinity Mobile. I don't have cable TV with them. It's too much money. I was paying 2000 a year. I got rid of all of that. I cut the cord a long time ago. I built my own antenna system out there. I took their existing wire that they came and redid everything. Thanks. Hey, thanks for doing that. <laughs> and then I and I connected it to my own box outside. You go outside, they say, hey, you got two boxes. Only thing, I can't open up my second box. I don't know why. But I need a new terminal uh, connector. It's a special tool that goes in. It pushes in and it allows you to take out the, the terminal thing. I should have asked him if I could use his. But I can, I'll get another one. It's like ten dollars for the tool. But anyway, inside there is a eight-way distributor amplifier. It's it's power over coax, so it's P O C, P -O, power over coax. You all also have power over Ethernet. That's P O E. That's what that means. P O E is the same line feeding the signal, feeding the um, the power, right? And and outside I have it split. Okay, so power over C, and then we have a separate coax line coming to the for power and it goes into the electrical okay and then we have power and then the eight way split throughout the house so we have eight different um well in here it, this, this tv here you can watch local tv on it it's crystal clear i mean i could i could switch to it but i could switch and show you um it's not that hard to do it needs to be updated though i should update it let's see <laughs> See, if, if Oscar Madison went on this special password show you're talking about, could he choose his partner? Well, probably, but uh, I'm not in charge of that department, Felix. Uh -huh. Well, if he. Oh, wait, wait, signal. Yeah, that's right. No, oh, not cable. Antenna. I want to. I want to change it. Well, thank you, thank you very much. I, I guess I better be shoving off. As readers die. You're every month you're supposed to um, update if there's any new channels and stuff like that. They're gonna change the ASTC 1.0 to AS 3.0 to get 4K, because right now it's 1080i. Before the analog would show analog channels, and then here. With, this will show you how many I'm getting. It said I was getting over a hundred and something. Outside we have dual antenna, right? They're short antennas, so they're forty mile range. So I have one pointed south, so I get I get two cities, two large cities down south, and we get all the way up to forty miles away. So it's eighty altogether. It's the radius. We have amplifier for the antenna. Which is not this is like a little amplifier hooked up to it. This is a real powerful antenna amplifier. It has a J clamp out there, so we split the signal. Is, it has two separate wires plugged into both antennas into one clamp, J clamp into a distributor amplifier, and and then it goes into the four way, and that's how it's spread. That's why every TV in the house has the same kind of reception. There's no loss. So when the when Comcast um, Xfinity business came to check on my line. He's, I showed him. I showed him in the living room. He said, wow, you got a clear reception. Yeah, because they can't give you that. They had to go through their whole system. And when their system goes down for internet, I'm still up and running because I'm not on their system. Okay, so they found 40 digital channels so far. This had to be upgraded, the one in the other room. Sony had an upgrade. There was a bug in it. Not this one. And how you do that is through USB. Okay, so now let's, let's get back to Xfinity. We don't, so we don't have Xfinity cable TV. I don't need it. They tried to sell me on that crap. So I said, hey, I just want internet only. It was, first, it was $49 for internet only. And what, what kind of speed we're looking at? 300 or something like that. I don't know. I really didn't care. But you got to understand something. The way the internet works. They might say they have one gig. That's 600. It's, the range is between 300 and 600. So if you get 300, hey. If you get 450, hey. If you get close to 600, hey. But this 1.2 is 720. But you're not going to get that if your equipment, you should be able to get that if your, if your modem 
See, the modem I have, I have, I pay for my own modem. They give me $10 off every month because I have my own modem, okay? That modem can go up to 800. It's supposed to be dual, dual, dual gig. So you have to hook it up to a dual wang, dual band, so you have two wang. But they don't support it. Okay, they found 100 channels, 123 digital channels. See, 123. Still searching. I did it pretty quick. The processor in this is much faster. Okay, it said it found 123. Let me turn down the volume. Allow the steps for it. You basically apply the pads to the patient, and if that patient is in what we call a shockable heart rhythm, this will deliver the oh. shock just like you would do if you were... Now, you see? That is very clear, isn't it? Let me turn off the light. See how clear it is? You can see them. That's how the signal is off the antenna with the amplifiers. Now, you have to have... This is 1080i channel display. So it's 1080i HD, 16.9, and it has... Um, Dolby Digital Surround, or Dolby, these are ads, but they're clear, look at look at the shine on that vehicle, huh? Alright, I, I don't want to get in trouble because, you know, too much copyright stuff going on. What's that? Is that, the, is that cable TV? I think that's it. Oh yeah, we do have the on box for this too. We have another one, I have the program, I really don't use it. But we do have it, so we have on for this. Okay. <laughs> so I can watch it in here. Okay, so now you know how I run the, the AT uh, antenna system. So, like I said, it was eight. It was Xfinity Internet, okay? Now they got the, um, the 10G, which is this a wording. They do have a box, a modem, Wi-Fi, everything built in. That's going to cost you $100. With the 1.2, then you would get... Um, close to the speeds they, they claim to, to give you, and upload speed would be 200 with the 1.2, okay? They do have two fiber to give you um, two, two gig up and two gig down, okay? I, don't, I can't tell you if that's, if that's what they can give you. You know, it, it depends, okay? But they have that. And I heard that's a lot of money to have that. I remember the 1.2 gig was... Oh, two ninety nine at the time, and they gave it to me for seventy nine. I'm paying fifty five plus thirty. That's eighty five, because I need unlimited data to upload all these videos. I upload a lot to my ASMR um, channel. I didn't show you that on this. That's uh, the medical role play. I upload one point three k. That's a lot. I upload yesterday. I uploaded six videos. That's six. No, sorry. I uploaded twelve videos. Six full videos, right? And six shorts, right? There's a reason why I did that. Can't get into it now. We're not talking about it. But to do all of that, that takes a lot of bandwidth. And I have and I have already passed my 1.2 terabyte limit with them. And they said if it happened again, it's gonna cost me a lot of money. It's a shame. Why do we have so FCC said, Hey Albert, um, what's going on with you with um Xfinity Internet? Well, I have to pay an additional 30 because why well there's data gaps. So I told them my story. So when they, when Xfinity Comcast sent a letter explaining what happened with the mobile, they had a they had to say, "Well, Mr. So and So, that's me, Albert, and my last name." <laughs> and they said, "Hey, um, he's paying for it's fifty five. She put down ninety five. I know where she get ninety five from. It's a hundred and twelve. But with the discounts, I get a discount on the modem and discount have it directly hooked up." Yeah, the, the, the modem is $10 off, right? My own modem. And $10 off by doing the auto pay directly to your bank, which I don't like to do because, as you can see, what happened with the Xfinity Mobile. The mobile Xfinity is a different system, right? Remember, they are not a wireless carrier. They piggyback off of Verizon, and that's how they do it, okay? But the phones are not free. Hey, we have a free phone. You can get an iPhone for free. Just port your number over. You have to have to port the number over. 
but you still got to pay tax on that phone. If that phone is $2,000, you got to pay ta tax for that $2,000. So make sure you know that's up front. They need to tell you that. It's up, it's up lying and, and telling you it, 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 there's no, the phone is free. It's that phone is free. You got to pay. And you have to keep the service for a while. And that's it. And get it all rigged up in such a way that, uh, like, you know, you know. Because I have my, my, my cell phone with them. Right? I own my phone. Man, mine was like over almost six hundred dollars for my phone. I paid for it monthly. I own it. They can't charge me for it. I had an iPhone come here. I was supposed to get it free. I went through Xfinity Internet because she was helping me with my bill, because my bill's gonna go up to fifty-seven dollars more. So she fixed the account and she said, Hey, you're entitled to a free iPhone. And I said, well, does it have 256? She said it came with 256. It's a lie. When it came, it didn't have all that stuff. It was a smaller phone. I don't want no small phone like this. I don't want this. is a kid's phone. I can't see that. So I, I call up Cairo. Well, I got them on the phone, and they, 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 locked, they, um, they locked the phone. Okay? Or they locked the account. So the phone locked, and they told me how to send it back. I sent it back. I sent it back the next day. They got it February 3rd. I had a record of them sending it back. Got, tell me, hey, we got the phone back. They're supposed to take it off my bill. They didn't take me off the bill. So now with Xfinity executive support through FCC, because I contact the FCC you know, and file a complaint, they 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 call, they contact me quick. The FCC they didn't know there was no delay. I put down fraudulent activities over with fraudulent. That's that's a strong word to use, but I had to use it. And I use it. And I said so they and I heard quickly from um, Xfinity executive customer relations support. Right, but there's two different numbers. I called it. I never got the person. They do that to see who's calling. So they filter those calls too. For the, to get the the real person, the person don't even want to listen to you. So they charge. It's like over four hundred dollars. They charge seventy five dollars. I only pay forty five. They were taking out twenty eight dollars. They charge me for um, tax on the on the on the device. I don't, what I understand is they got all this stuff back. All this stuff should have come up. They shouldn't be charging me for this phone. So I want my money back because I have bills to pay. That's what I told them. Oh, we gave you credit. You didn't pay. Yes, I did pay. Didn't. I still paid because they took 75 out. And that 75 include the $45.46 every month. I still paid. So why don't they give me that money? I told them, see, I want my money back. I, they owe me 141 I keep my mouth quiet. Send me 141 I don't know what's happening. They can't get me on the phone because my phone has double um, layer of security protocol. I use a, another app. So, you know, I don't, nobody can call me. No long distance, no no bots, no nothing. Yeah, I've been like that for years. I've been like that since 2003. We used to have a computer. A guy wrote a software called um, Trey, Trey Software, something like that. And he figured out how to take a, a modem with a, you know, like an internet modem. That had built-in caller ID and block calls, and or, and you could you could have fun with that. I used to do robot calls. I used to, and you know, if they curse you out, the thing would curse them back out too. It was pretty cool. I did that for years, and nobody bothered me. That blocks or bill collectors, anybody calling you. That's your phone. Nobody has a right to insult you and put you down on your phone. So nobody has a right to do that on my cell phone. I don't want nobody to call me. I don't want no bots. I don't want no no insurance. I don't want nobody no. Fake calls, like they'll call and say, hey, um, John, um, I won't be there. And I said, I used to talk to them because I had nothing else to do. <laughs> so I said, yeah, are you here soon? I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. <laughs> and you get those kind of calls too. But I don't, I don't want to talk to nobody, you know? So nobody can get me. We block bots, toll free, long distance, anonymous, fake the U.S. Army, you know, all these calls that contact, the president's calling you, <laughs> you know, the aliens are calling you, all these things. They can't get me. It won't go through. I don't have no voicemail either. I don't want it. I don't need it. Why do I need voicemail? So I just have the phone. I don't even use it. They give me 20 gig allowance. I only use three. 0 0.3. 0 0.0.3. That's it. They know that. And how they charge me $75 a month. $28.33 and, um, and $28 per month for a device I don't have. Plus my 45. That comes to $75. And they yank it out of my bank account. And they yank, kept on yanking it out. I called overseas. I talked to so many people. There was one guy in the Philippines in the billing. He gave me back $56.66. He, he gave me June and July. And he sent it right to the bank account. Back the money. 
But the others couldn't do that. And that's why I couldn't understand. So I called again and found out in August I was going to get charged. And in July, I had to call back again. And she said, okay, we, the Dominican, they took three hours. They gave me credit. Again, with this credit. Why didn't they just put the money back into my bank account? They said they couldn't do it. They didn't know how to do it. So they covered the month. And it's in September. It was going to be $65. Wait, $45 for me. And it was additional on top of that. Why do I have to pay that additional? So they took that money. I want that money back. She's telling me for executive support, they can't do it. Why not? Then October would have been $75. Again. So she said, we could give you back $47. But you charged me $75. You took out all this money out, all these months. And, and it was more money than that too. I want that money back. Why can't you give me money that money back? And then it said for November 11th, I have to see what's going on there. $51. Why is it $51? You should put, you're supposed to get pain and suffering. It looks like the FCC doesn't have the power to really do anything. I want pain and suffering. I want pain and suffering. I'm, uh, it's, it's stress. I went through a lot. You guys know too, because I told you. And this is where we are today. I, the FCC got them to contact me again. I contact them and left a voice message, a long one, because she's not there when I call. She don't want to pick up the phone when I call. This is I can't mention the name of the person because I don't want to be attacked. But um, she's in one of the states. It's not like she, I felt that she was in Atlanta because she had an accent. She don't want to. They don't want to pick up the phone. They don't want to deal with it. All these people, they're on a uh, better business bureau. I find a complaint. Best business. There's a whole bunch of people have the same problem. Or the phones, they can't get the phone off their account. One guy said he's saying he owes a thousand dollars and they yank it out of his account. Close out your account. Don't put it on your bank account. Create some credit cards are allowed to create a virtual card. Put in the virtual card and then if they try to take then lock it. And they'll I know they'll try to go after you. Well, let them go after you. Then you don't have to pay. Because you don't have the, fi the device and you have to show proof that you said. So they kept on telling me, oh, we don't know that you returned it. But they have the letter saying that they returned it. And I sent it to the, the government. I said, FCC, I have all this. They sent everything. FCC says, we are a moderator. We can only help you by mod we It's better that you go to them now. How can I go to them if they don't answer the phone? They won't pick up the phone. They won't help me. I went to the bank to show proof. I said to them, I said, listen, Xfinity Mobile. I have proof that you took all this money out of my bank account. They know. They know, but they're playing games. I told them, I'll go to the media with this. But nobody's going to talk about this because right now they're thinking about the war. <laughs> they're thinking about, you know, what's going on in the election. They don't care about these little petty things. It's a shame. I can voice it on here. I don't have nothing to lose. I let you guys know. A lot of you asked me about the Peacock channel. That was back in June. That, that too, that too, I did not know how long that's good. When she sent the letter, the letter showed my account and how long the Peacock channel was good for. I think it said 2025 or 2024. I have to look at it again. Yeah, the Peacock channel is not lifetime for free. You got to catch it. Otherwise, they'll start charging you for that Peacock. It's not worth it, though, to be honest with you. Not worth. I watch it a couple of times. I use. I watch. Um. I watch. Um. I have you. I. I'm paying for premium for YouTube. I pay for it because they have free movies and stuff, you know, like that. It was cheap. It was only eleven, but now they charge more. <laughs> they tell me all the accounts that I have should have it. I no. I don't need it for all the accounts because I have one account and I can have it on all my TVs, my all my Google TV or Android TV, Android TV and Google. That's all. I don't really need it. You know, I just hop around the house and I'll have another another one out in the patio. But since the pandemic and everything, I don't really go outside the patio like I used to. I, I don't know what to tell you. It's it's really tough. Now you say, gee, why don't you leave um, Xfinity? Can't. Cost money to do all that. Eventually I will. But the other companies, it's a lot more money. Think of Xfinity Mobile, like Cricket, and all the other companies. T-Mobile, I had them. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. They lie. They don't tell the truth. I had. I. I had them. I, it, it's a lot, and to get away from them is tough. I had their boost in the house. They're supposed to boost the intent, the boost of Wi-Fi because Wi-Fi is weak in the house. To fix your Wi-Fi with them or any of them, you need an antenna, an RV antenna, 
on top of the antenna hooked up to a, like like you have with your router and and broadcast it with the wireless and to get the full signal otherwise you're not getting it because the way the towers are set up you have to be on right on top of the tower you don't want all that radiation that's a lot of radiation i drove my vehicle to where the tower is this is about five bars as soon as i get home three bars or one bar two bars i'm in between the two towers they can't put in residential neighborhoods because most of those towers were built in the 80s and houses are up already. There's a place on the highway going out west. It's farmland, right? They have one tower and after a while, you know, you don't get none. It's dead. That's terrible, isn't it? So Elon Musk, he was supposed to come out with his satellite cell phone service to use those Starlink stuff, right? I don't know how that's going to work and how much he's going to charge for that. Would that be cheaper? I know that Google has their own um, Google Wi-Fi uh, cell service, but that's off, that works off of T-Mobile's. That's a T-Mobile service. So that's not a true Wi-Fi. Then this, it's back in off. So this is just like Xfinity Mobile. So is Xfinity Mobile good? I had no problems. No problems. Until we had the iPhone. I went to the Xfinity mobile store. The guy told me, no, sir, we get a lot of, you're not the only one that comes in with this problem. You have to call that in. He couldn't help me. That's a shame. I called, I, I went online. I booked me an appointment the same day. I went early. They took me. He told me he couldn't do nothing for me. He saw that that phone was on the account. He said, you have to call it in. That's, that's, that's a runaround. You can't get nobody. Overseas operators can't help you. They're only good for billing. And maybe having somebody come to install your internet. That's it. They can't handle escalations. That has to be done in the United States. Nobody can help you. They and they, they they can't. Don't waste time talking to them about it. Don't 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 do it. You you go you'll drive you crazy. Don't you do it. Don't talk to the AI either. I could teach you how to bypass a lot of stuff. There's a number to call. You just press two and, and you just go and you connect right to them. You don't have to talk and go through this runaround. Talk to the AI first. That's terrible. You shouldn't have to go through all that. You're not a child. They do that so they save money and get rid of you because they know that you're trying to call with a problem. That's a terrible way to run. But they all do it. They all have some system like that. And how they... That's why some people say, well, we well, have the government regulate these companies. They should be regulated. Communication companies should be regulated because then you shouldn't have to go through all that. That's not right. Look at me. With, I've been with Comcast for a long, since the 80s. I can say that. Yeah. So I'm con the, I'm beyond, uh, what's the highest? Is Diamond Club? I don't even use that service. Are you, are you happy with your Diamond service? Hell, I don't, the only thing I use it was the Peacock thing. That's it. I didn't use it. What do I get? Can I get... Why don't you give me a discount off the bill per month? Give me what? Give me 50 off the bill. If I was on Snap or food stamps, I can get 30 off the bill. That's how they do it. Why am I paying $30 extra a month? I have to if I want to upload files. Otherwise, I really can't do whatever I want. When I was uploading 4K files, I don't do that no more. That's a lot on the on the network here. Because everybody now... The whole house is now Wi-Fi. I don't have nothing wired. I have all these wires in here still. I need to get rid of them. I had all this wire. I had to help us wire it. I wired it myself. Every room. I didn't do the patio, but now we have Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi was better. It can go up to 800 and something um, spade. And there's one of them that can go up to a gig. That's the Chrome OS book. But those those speeds, like I say, anything a gig is going to be between, between 300 and 600, okay? That's that's the range. That's how it. As I I was taught when I was doing all this tech work, okay. I and I was taught by people that have been doing it for years. They explain how it worked. So when I go into business, I say, hey, there was uh, one of the big um, multi million dollar um, the investment. I can't say the name of the company. I actually did a video. I don't tell you what company it is. Okay. So I asked, they were putting in the the internet. Hey, so are you using a gig? What do you mean by that? Well, what's what's the system here? He said, well, um, there's 100. What do you mean, 100 megabytes? You know what they do? They send the line in from the gig, and they have a box 
like a like a router or a hub or a switch. And if you see the video I showed you, you see all those monitors hooked up? They're all hooked up to that one little box and the signal is degraded. Why is a multi-billion dollar company doing that? Why don't you give your employees full power? Same thing when I did, um, I went down to, um, oh, there's a place down near the beach. I can't say the company. The company is a trillion dollar, two point, at the time, the $2.6 trillion company. Huge company. They had a big conference show. They have a big screen. And I, I took pictures, I think, and I showed. I don't know if I showed the videos. But anyway, I was there on that project. I could have got a lot of money on that project. I met a guy I used to work with up north, uh, UTC. Um, he was there. He, um, they told me, I said, okay, so you have these wireless access points. Because I did it with, Saint. so why don't you put them on the ceiling? He said, you don't have to put them on the ceiling. They had them mounted on tripods. I did the same thing in this place. I mounted them on tripods. I did it the same way that they had it. But, oh, so I said, are these 80211 AC? He said, no, they're 80211. Why are they 80211? He said, because they didn't want, the company didn't want to spend the money. What? That doesn't make no sense. A $2.6 trillion company is using 80211? That's not, that's 150 to 300, you know, because you know that 802.11 is not truly 300. It was like, oh, 300. No, it's 150. It could be even lower than that too. It could be 65 or 75 megabytes. And these, um, these were Cisco with the antennas. He said um, the next year budget, they would increase. But, but that's what they do. They are in charge. They're old guys. Like in maybe like 70, you know, close to 70. I can't, it's real hard to tell. It doesn't matter how old they were. Um, and that's what they do. They lay out those stuff and everything get wired up. My job was in charge of HP printers. Right. My job. And they made me a lead. And I should have got lead money. And that's what, and the company I was working with there is a Skinflint company. Skinflint. I don't, I'm not with them no more. Because they're not, they, weren't, they wouldn't pay me. I was supposed to do a job down one of these um, data centers. First, they had they hired me for 25 an hour, the most I can get, but I had to drive all the way down there. But the, but the parent company does not want to pay for mileage and it's against the law. You're supposed to get mileage. When you leave your house and you work as an empl a uh, W-2, not a 1099, W-2 employee, you're supposed to get paid. Yeah, you're supposed to get paid. For mileage, when you leave your house and go to a, uh, they didn't want to pay. If I tell you the parent company is a co big computer company, they didn't want to pay. So they called me and said, hey, the lead guy didn't want to do it. What, how much you want? Well, how about 40? Oh, yeah, we could do 40. Well, well, how about 46? You can do 46? Yeah, we could. How about 50? Well, let me check. You can do 50. So I get four hour guarantee. So, so that's, that's 50, 50, 50 every hour. That's four hours. You know, that's over $200. They tell me they don't want to give me that money. I tried it. I had to contact the client. I know that's the worst thing to do. <laughs> and I got my money. But at a cost. I don't care. I don't like them. I don't like them. They're cheap. They don't want to pay. If they promote, if the client, it was HP. The client said, hey, I, you're, I'm making you the, the lead. The lead gets more money per hour. They don't want to give it to you. They want to keep that money. Do you know how much they get from me? A hundred and fifty an hour. That's what the client. That's what. The, that's what. The, that's what the, the people that I work for. That's what they get for us. That's a shame. Terrible, terrible. I'm not with them no more. I refuse. Now you have other companies. I did a big company. Um, one of the, the other company I told you about with the, the monitors and. Uh, none of the monitors, uh, with the networking thing there. You got good, good money on that. I talked to the, uh, the, the the client was there. He said, why don't you give us an extra hour pay for the parking? Okay, uh, we'll do that. We'll add it. They did it. They approved it. They gave me five stars. They were happy with the work. All these companies. I can't mention the company. I wish I could. They were all $3 million. Some, some of them were um, lawyer firms. Lawyer firm was fought. I went to one of the major cities here, forty to put the vehicle in the parking garage, and he, and at the time I was trying to get it from the, my company. They they give me one hundred and sixty a week for the parking. They they diddle daddly, but the client said, oh, "No, you're helping us. We'll pay for it. We'll give you a voucher." They paid for it. Oh boy, was I! I had a lot of clout.
and they were scared at the other people. But it doesn't matter. You have to know how to speak up and you know how to do it. Don't don't push it. The clients, I went to this one client. Oh, we got you covered. Don't worry. We'll 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 vouch for you. We'll, you know they'll stay, you know make sure you don't have to pay anything. Do you need it for tomorrow too? That's what she said. I said it was no. I helped them get their printer going in their system. A lot of these places you go, the printer's not hooked up. There's no network connection. We can't do nothing. My job is to make sure the printer's online and we teach them how to use the printer. But there's not much to teach. You know, it's they're managed printers. I worked at a lot of places. They send me to project. Every time they send me someplace, the project can't start. I still get paid the full amount of money and the mileage. I had a girl, I had a girl that worked for this company. I'd be in taking a shower, getting ready to go. She said, Don't worry, don't worry. You know, we'll pay for your mileage and we'll pay for you out the whole day. Wow, and you didn't have to leave the house. That's that's good. That's how it should be. But in in today it's not like that. I, I do computer work now on now and then. It's not to fight for it though. You have to bid for the work. I have five star. I I come highly recommended. But you got to get your drug screen, background check. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's it's well they have to do the urine check. You know? <laughs> it's a peanut cup eagle, and they send it off. And then and, and, and if you don't have anything, and then you 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 know you can work. It's very mandatory, and you also have to have the covert shots too. Then you can work any place, you know, wherever it is. And it's good money. Right now, I'm I'm doing this stuff. I'm doing um YouTube stuff. I like I like it. Hey, um, thanks for watching. Oh, what's happened with Xfinity? Who knows? They're gonna dig in deep. I'm gonna keep filing complaint. But there's not much I can do. There's not much I can do. What can I do? It's funny though. They went. They went. I switched. It from my bank account to a credit card, and the credit card told them, there's not enough money in there, so they can't try to take out that 75. That's why I did it. So if they try to take out a large amount, it won't go through. That's a shame, though. I have to port the number over to another carrier. Some people said they did that, and they still get charged. Yeah. But new carrier says, I want, can we have your phone? No, I own it. I'm keeping my phone. Screw that. No way. Wow. Ah. Give me a new phone. It's not to pay tax on it. Why do they want your phone? They're supposed to give you a discount. No. No, no, no. No, no. no. I don't know. Oh, that's, a, that's a big racket, too, with that. Hey, thanks for listening. I try to teach you stuff in between. You know, and I did it, when I talked about it, that's the way it is. IT work is it's, it's crazy. I know a lot of you are IT professionals, you know, and you, you, you have to understand, you know. If you're in this business and you understand how everything works, it's good that you know, okay? I was taught by people that didn't have certification. No. They got, they were lucky. They got promoted to project manager without having a, a PMP certification. I got promoted to project coordinator and slash manager. And I was offered higher up without having anything. No certs. And one time you didn't need certs. They cared about how much experience you have. The more five years or more, you don't need certs. A lot of you spend all this money on certification. How much that help? You get the book cannot help you in real life situations. But sometimes the certs are supposed to make you have more money, but I could have more money than you. But I know a lot of people don't have certs. I, I talked to network engineer. You have certs? They said, no. How did you get so far? It just worked. A lot of them have retired now. They're gone. I had a company that said, hey, Albert, um, we, we got rid of all the contractors. We kept you because we liked you and you're a good worker. Could you work part-time? I had to tell them, no, I can't work part-time. That's half the money. I should have done it, though. Now they're, they merge with HP and they become DXC. They were called, um, hmm. Oh, shoot. Oh, I forgot their name. <laughs> but they were big with C something. C, Cisco, Cisco. Well, anyway, they become DXC and that's who they are. 
the other company is gone. And they were big. And um, I work hard. And the, the managing director always called me and always wanted me. And his name was Robert. And he said, Robert, you're the best one. And we always call you. And I was a hard worker. I did a lot of stuff. Most of you wouldn't even do what I do. But I had to do it. And that's how I learned how to fix laser network, HP printers. Okay, I worked at a, a, a large, uh, at the time, multi-billion dollar company for, um, for the government. And you had to have top secret clearance to get in. I've seen things that most people don't get to see. No, I didn't see no alien equipment. No. <laughs> no, we need it right there. But I did get to go to uh, one of the companies where I, I got to go to was Colt 45. Mm -hmm. They had a laser gun rifle. I said, what's that? He said, that's a laser. He said, it was a prototype at the time. So they do have a laser. <laughs> at the time. Yeah. But, um, yeah. And I seen the C, what's that big plane? It's the cargo one, the C-14 or C-17. The big one that they use to carry things. I just seen that thing's gigantic. Holy Toledo. And I watched them put helicopters and build helicopters from scratch uh, uh, for the government, uh, for the, uh, in the president's plane. Uh, the president's helicopter. That company is taken over by somebody else. I think Lockheed taken over now. I see a lot of stuff, and I got into a lot of facilities. I, my ID got to me every place. But you know, today it's it's tough. But I can still get in because I have, I had clearance. But as long as you have clearance, you can get into a lot of things. I've seen a lot. I have a lot of experience. I dealt. I worked with a lot of CEOs of big companies. Yeah, they like children. They didn't know. Oh, you're here to help me with my computer? Hey, no problem. You can do whatever you want. The last ones I did was, um, I can say the company's name. I think it was it uh, UBS? Not name. UBS. No. Yeah, UBS. Is UBS? Yeah, UBS um, Wealth Commonwealth Bank. I know the big honcho for down here where I am. They said, you know him? And he, he knew me. Hey, how you doing? People said, oh my God. He, he's big shot here. Yeah. I don't ask for favors. I guess I could call him for a favor. He gave me the Olympic torch for 2012. I had it in my hand. I have a picture of me holding the Olympic torch. He took the picture of me holding the Olympic torch. I know you're saying, you do all that in your work? Yeah, well, hey. He, he offered me, hey, stop what you're doing. He was a big shot. You could do a lot. I've seen a lot of things. Met a lot of famous people, too. All right, hey, you take care. Don't forget to subscribe. I will let you know what's happening with the Xfinity. There's not much I can tell you. Yeah, hey. It's just me. I'm trying to get this channel up to 500. Come on. You guys can help me. Come on. All right? All right? <laughs> okay. I can give you any, 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 if you need help, I'll help you. I know a lot of stuff. Okay? Well, at least we got the script working for these things now. <laughs> okay. Hey, take care. I got to go.